Hello there, and welcome to this English comprehension exercise. This is based on where does our electricity come from? So electricity is usually made by spinning a generator in power stations. It is sent to your house along huge wires stretched across tall metal pylons. These are the metal pylons that we're talking about, all right? So electricity is usually made by spinning a generator, very, very large generators that constantly keep on spinning. They create electricity and that electricity then flows through the wires into our homes. So let's start with coal, gas and oil power stations. So some power stations run on coal, gas or oil. The fuel is used to create flames to produce heat. This is used to boil water to make steam. The steam is sent into turbines, a sort of motor which spins very quickly. This is connected to the generator which makes electricity. So we can see this in our diagram right at the bottom of our page. Let me show you here. So there we go. So this is a nuclear reactor, which is slightly different. However, let me just show you a diagram that I'll make for you. Let's say, for example, we have some uh, oil here. Let's just write this down. So oil, gas, or coal. And we're burning this particular oil, gas, and coal. All right, so we're burning oil, gas, and coal in a big turbine. Now, when we burn oil, gas, and coal, it produces what we call steam. Okay, just like if you were to boil a kettle of water and you have steam that gushes out, especially at that boiling point. Now, this steam will gush out very quickly and it's very powerful and it's very, very hot as well at the same time. So this particular steam then goes to a motor, motor or a turbine. And a motor and a turbine look something like this. So it's big machines like this. Okay, and they revolve round and round and round. And they actually go round very, 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 very fast, all right? And the turbines then move round as quickly as possible. And at the same time, it boils water and the turbines spin very, very quickly. So when they spin, they produce electricity, okay? And this then goes into these big pylons, which in turn then goes to our homes, all right? So that's how electricity is formed, okay? So let's just go back on our reading section. Let's go on to um, nuclear energy. So. Nuclear energy is all about splitting atoms, tiny particles in a material called uranium, produces large amounts of heat. This heat is used to make steam, to power a turbine, to make electricity. So again, here, this image is about a nuclear reactor. And we've got a, a uranium is a um, fossil fuel that is found from underground and it's only available in particular countries. That uranium, is put into this nuclear reactor. And this then produces large amounts of heat. And the heat comes down here and it produces steam. And this particular steam then goes to the turbine and the turbines are then producing lots of electricity, which then go into the pylons and then they then focus on uh, the homes and the schools as well. Okay, so that's how the um, nuclear generator actually works. So this process goes round all the way from here to here to here to here as well, okay? Let's go to hydroelectricity. So hydroelectricity, water running down a mountain 
can be used to make a turbine spin to make electricity. So hydroelectric power is found on large, huge mountains where the water runs down and it gushes down so quickly that when it hits the turbines, the turbines rotate around and they produce electricity. Let's have a look at windmills. So windmills, when the wind blows, the blades on a windmill, they spin around. If the axle is connected to a generator, electricity can then be formed. Other ways of making electricity, so solar panels can be used to collect energy from the sun to make a small amount of electricity. A battery uses a chemical reaction to make a small amount of electricity. So as time passes, scientists have produced new uh, technology, especially when it comes to solar power, wind power, turbines and windmills, and that's probably going to be our future. So in the UK at the moment, we are using 55% of all our energy from uh, windmills, from nuclear energy, and from solar power, as well as tidal wind power, wave power as well from the sea. Um, and we're trying to move away from coal, gas, and oil, which creates a lot of pollution. Okay, so thank you so much for this. And read this information one more time and answer the questions. And good luck with the follow-up questions.